Hey. Quanto questo? With my friend Marina Ramos. La Ramina Ramos. <laughs> going on folks this is Drees and this is Drees Speaks number 67 without further ado let me give a shout out to the latest players and subscribers bang Just a quick question. Is this fucking real? The Department of Meta will change its name to Facebook. Is this real? All the shit that's going on in Columbia, these niggas won't change. Well, it's fucked up with Meta. Well, let's change the name so people don't think about it being fucked up. Is this real? Shout out to Tokyo, Japan. He says, wow, I didn't know that they had all those different types of liquors. That 38 Bach is fire. Thanks, Dries, for showing this. Salute. Well, player, I salute you for uh, checking me out, man. You know, uh, that place there is, is, is vastly deep with lots of different liquors, tequilas, agaves from Mexico that you will never see here in the States. So, you know, I, I normally don't pack bags, but normally right now, that 38 vodka, oh, I'm going back get that. I mean, the liquor's cool, but I ain't paying no $200 for no glass. You kiss my natural ass. Nevertheless, Shout out to Tokyo, Japan, man. Thanks for the suggestion. Shout out to Jamil Edwards. Says Feet White, my all-time favorite. Well, I'm not going to say I'm anybody's favorite, but if you got me on the list, I appreciate that alone. You don't have to go no further than that. But Jamil, I think. Oh, but that story there, that was, that was crazy. What was crazy is due to the fact that I knew what they were saying, and then I responded how I re responded. The next time I saw those brothers, well, that brother and the chick, they walked up, gave me a pound, kept it moving. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, but it ain't like me and you gonna be friends. You tried to rob me, bitch. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, the more you know, the less, the less probabilities you have of bad shit happening to you, the more probabilities of good things that you don't expect to happen for you. That's the whole thing about learning this language about being in other countries. You saw the video of the Guatemala or the Mexican or what have you that got shitted on by the lady that works to register at McDonald's. You know, when you go out there to these other countries not knowing that that's you out there in, in DR. That's you out there in Colombia. That's you in Mexico. Don't be that dude. Learn some words. You learn some phrases. Make some phrases. You know. Learn the how my name is. You know. I am. Blah blah blah. And work your way to getting the number and then talk to them on WhatsApp and get the translate on. However you do it. But know what these people are saying when y'all talk physically. That virtual shit, that go to the wayside after a while. But know what these people are saying. Shout out to Bella Gino. Says, nice productions, bro. Funny as fuck. Well, trust me, I, I'm not trying to be comedian. A lot of stuff that I, I come on here and say is not for you to uh, be mad behind it or, or be upset, but for you to think. You know, but, you know, if it comes across comical, if it keeps you, if it 
keeps you uh, entertained, it keeps you locked in, then hey, maybe I should do a couple more jokes or something. Two white boys at the bar. Nah, but I ain't, I ain't, I ain't gonna get into all that. But nevertheless, shout out to Bello Gino, BG in the building. Shout out to BG. Shout out to Raise for Raise. If you have subscribed, please make sure you do it because he's giving you all that content that y'all want to see. You know, I might be a little bit boring to y'all because I'm trying to help y'all with y'all safety and y'all sanity. But, you know, you know, my boy Razor Ray, you know, you know he, he got them hoes. He got them hoes. I, I don't have no hoes. I just got info. You know, y'all ain't getting off on info, you know. <sighs> info. Info. Y'all ain't doing it. But y'all over there on Razor Ray's channel. Ha, uh, got a handle. Wall City, I'm gonna skeet on that ball. That's y'all. But anyway, shout out to Razor Rays, man. I think I'm gonna stick with this format. This is not nothing new. This is what I used to do. You go back to 2017 uh, or 18 or whatever it was. I was doing the same shit. It's just that I had all my junk in the background. But I didn't have all the lighting. But I figured a way to, 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 to economize and uh, in other words, do this shit on the low, on the, on the lower money scale. So that way, it look good on my Google check when it come on fast, you understand? But nevertheless, raise a race. If you have subscribed to that brother, make sure you do so in the future. Bang. Shout out to HD Chella. Says you absolutely right. You gotta go to new spots in 2022. You know, if you look, I had to underline that shit. You know what I'm saying? You definitely gotta go to new spots, man. You know, right now is that time three, well, three or four or five, you know, just wing it, man, you know what I'm saying, you know, and when you're doing this, just do yourself one favor, it's 2021, damn near 2022, don't go nowhere expecting what you saw in 2018, you are already doing yourself a disservice, I said this before and I said it again, but you're absolutely right, HD. You gotta go to new spots. Even if it's spots that other folks that you know have been to, it's new for you. Go. I'll see y'all in the sky. Shout out to HD Chuck. Shout out to Sean 100. He says, I missed the golden days of help. Uh, Carter Hanna and Hotel Del Rey. Now, golden days are golden days. Let the golden days be gold. Only thing you can really do right now is get with folks who remember the golden days and relive them. That's all you got. Cause you ain't getting shit out these new real niggas. These 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 new these new niggas. Oof. Shout out to Bridge Builder. Say it's great video. Don't stop. The background and the talking is nice. Well, this time around, when I do my thing. Instead of going with the videos, I'm going to go with a little bit more stills because the stills is easier to control. And me, you know, you can ease me. I, I Sometimes I might over add it a bit. You know, I'm trying to stop talking. And then when I stop talking, the sound come in. Sometimes you go over edit. it. But I got a lot of uh, suggestions and questions here. So I got to go with the stills today due to the fact that I don't want to be sitting up here editing. Shout out to Bridge Builder, you heard me? This episode of Dree Speaks is brought to you by StopTheSpread.com. Back to the show. Okay, Pam on the building. Says, wow, you getting that soca fever. I always thought you would like that soca crap. Dude, that was my first time doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? I actually have a full video going up on members. And I'll give you all a piece of it. Bang. <laughs>
it was different. It was different in New Orleans as compared to going to a regular club in New Orleans because by it being Africa, you thinking natural, you thinking, you know, motherland, you thinking all all of that motherlandly shit. You know what I'm saying? So when you go in there, look, you're seeing lots of dreadlocks, you're seeing lots of dashikis, you know what I'm saying? You know, lots of natural hair. Not a lot, it wasn't a lot of weed. And it seemed like some of the finer motherfuckers came out. You know, let me give a shout out to my girl, Kate Hayes. Me and I was supposed to interview with her on Friday night. By the time I got home, it was 12 o'clock. I'm thinking I could still get there. Because I'm used, this is New Orleans, I'm used to getting off work, going home, sleep, wake up, then iron, then go to the club, 11 30. So I'm ironing and I'm seeing the, 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 the paperwork, the, the flyer. Oh, look. Five o'clock to ten o'clock. I'm like, shit, I've been working during the whole damn thing. I'm thinking I was gonna have me some fun tonight with Miss Hayes. But nevertheless, Miss Hayes, Kate Hayes, you know, if y'all want to follow her, it's called Sheen. You know what I'm saying? Her name is Kate Hayes. She's a promoter from New Orleans. Check her out. You know, support her. You know, keep her uplifted. But Soka was some nice shit. And trust me. When it come next year, I'ma be there. I'ma be there with exclusive shit and I'm filming the whole thing. But the video that I do have, I'll be putting it up on members. I hope you enjoy it. Leave a like, leave a comment. And if you got any Soka uh, uh, footage yourself, send it to me, man. Let me check it out. You know, this is my first time for it, but it was fun nonetheless. Damn. Every prediction you make comes to pass. I'm going to just stop right there and say, hey, look, I'm not looking for this one to come to pass at all. I'm not. And no, I don't hate DR. I don't hate DR at all. I don't. You know what I'm saying? I don't hate DR. If I didn't have the best experience in DR when I was there my first time, that's what that was. But... I made it, I'm, I'm Dries, I'm gonna have fun nonetheless, that's what the fuck I do, but I don't hate DR, man, but at the same time, I'm hoping that this does not come to pass, shout out to Reese, says Coach Dries TV, like Phil Jackson with it, appreciate your effort, well, appreciate you for uh, checking out my effort and, 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 and giving me that E for effort, so, but uh, for the most part, bro, I just really had to just break it down. That's, I just wanted to explain that situation because when that situation happened to me, I wasn't in that mood to record. Uh, to record, I, I was in that mood of trying to get to the crib because I knew where the fuck I was at. Okay, so uh, it, it, it it was a, it it was it was something to finally have it visualized for myself. You know, and I brought it to y'all in a in a, in a uh, in a case of say, you know, don't go, you know, you know, fuck all of that. Don't don't be here at this time. Nah, don't go. If you know, if you walking back there, don't you be the clothes, mad clothes. I head back to Nosa Senora. And with a majority of those cats that's you know, being robbed and stuff in, in uh in, in Colombia, watch what happened during Carnival in, in, in Rio. I'm praying right now. That is not you. Jamil Lewis says, feet white. Great advice and PSAs as usual. Shaolin dreams. I'm a tofa. The funny thing is that I saw this brother's video two days ago. I also remember you telling Big Boss and JJ on this live that's the wrong place to be after a certain hour. That story at the end is my all-time favorite. You're the Jefferson Parish with your pride. Respect dreams. But hey, respect your mere levels. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully I see you in the sky one day, man. You know. You know, I definitely I definitely I, I definitely will buy first round when, when we finally uh meet up. But uh for the most part, man, it, it, it was just you know, I was just feeling a certain way and, and finally I had that much as I didn't want to see that story I had visualized. It was visualized so I, I, I reached out to the brother and, and asked, you know, if I could react to it and, you know, you know, but 
I didn't say nothing bad against the dude. I, I had more uh, good remarks for him personally than than anything bad. But there are some things that I can say that I didn't say in the last video that I might say at the end of this one. Stay tuned. Shout out to Roller Tate. We ain't seen that nigga in a long time. Says good video. Brazil safer than Colombia nowadays? Well, contrary to all popular beliefs, hell no. DR is the shit. Go, 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 get her. Says fam, work on the audio a little bit. I almost blew my shit trying to listen with the drastic level differences. Well, look, let me tell you what happened with that different level. I did the video and I was going to work. I work in the warehouse, it's loud, there's trains and, and, and con, uh, containers and shit everywhere. You know, niggas can't drive, 18 wheelers hitting up against the garages and shit. Um, so I, I finished it there because that particular day I went to work, nothing came in from the port. So I was just sitting there for about an hour, waiting for my uh, coworker to come in, let him know what the deal was so we could go back home and do what we need to do, you know, you know, in the future for the next, you know, work or what have you. So when I recorded it, I was in a loud spot. So in order there, I, and, and this phone that I have now, it's an Android, but it's practically, the phone I have now is, a, is, is an iPhone with a better camera. It's pretty much what I have right now. So when I did it, I just turned it all the way up. The audio on this, on this phone is, is, is nice, but you know, if, uh, I wouldn't know where, where I could really get a good sound. I should have just waited till I left work and then did what I had to do. But I really wanted to get that out there because because of the uh, content that was in that last video. But it wasn't. It was it was a honest mistake on my part. But shout out to Global Go Getter. Don't worry about it. This video is already better. Just go and hit the like button right now if you don't mind. Reminding y'all, man. 35 and up is getting the fuck away from Facebook. That's Instagram. That's Facebook. That's WhatsApp. We are moving to the gram, the real gram, telegram. Hit me up at dreheart38 at gmail.com. Have a little donation, be that travel over 35 and ain't about that bullshit. Cause I don't have none of the foolish in my groups. None. We'll see about getting you in there. That's 35 and up, the place for the traveling OG. Shout out to Stan Lico from Facebook. He says, what do I recommend as far as a place that plays American music that's not Don't You Beat? Based on my perspective, listen, I'm not trying to leave America to go outside of America to be like, do like, feel like anything in America. So in all honesty, American music that's not Dodger Vita, I'm going to have to say, nowhere. That ain't what you want if you're trying to uh, immerse yourself. But I understand what you're saying. A place that plays American music that's not Dolce Vita. There is a place in Lapa. I don't know if it's open, but it is called Fabarge. F A E B A R G. They they do hip hop Fridays. They in that bitch pop locking, break dancing. You know, you go in that bitch, you think you're in Brooklyn in 1986. I don't know if it's open yet, uh, open now rather, but Fabarge. F E B A R J. It's in Lapa. There, you might want to start there. All right. Shout out to Go Go Travels. Says, I can't wait to hear your interesting perspective on this. I can see Sisua closing or changing, but the DR is. Let's see. The DR is still basically. I can see Sisua closing or changing, but the DR is still basically unexplored outside the known tourist hotspots. Learn Spanish, branch out, and Latin culture opens up to you. Peace. Hey, trust me, I, I'm, I'm a stickler for saying, hey, dog, know what some of these folks are saying. You know, it only helps you. You 
you know what I'm saying? You can't keep going to these places. How much for the pussy? How much for the head? That's, you know. See, you got niggas in their seventies right now that's, how much for pussy? How much for head? Because they were 20 saying that. They was 30 saying that. They was 50 saying that. You know? I mean, I get certain things happen when you get to a place for the first time. But after a while, that novelty shit wear off. Like, when I went to Susu, um, uh, it was cool when I touched down uh, Monday evening. But by Wednesday morning, man, I was tired of that shit. I was, I was aggravated. But as far as learning Spanish to branch out, I'm on the Portuguese side of things, right? So when you learn, when I learned Portuguese, it throws off my Spanish. Because, like, after I left from Rio, after I left from the river, I go to Medellin. My Spanish, you know, I had a decent little amount of Spanish where I could have a conversation with practically anybody. I'm on the Portuguese side of things, and, and learning that Portuguese, it'll get you, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely going to have things open. It's definitely going to open up doors for you. You know, and, you know, and it ain't just, you know, you know, and, and and shit like, you know, holes and stuff like that. That's that 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 that's when that'll really become a byproduct at that point. But back to my perspective on this. Let me explain where the whole shit came from. All right. I had a conversation with some travelers. Well, let me ask this question: How many of y'all, as black travelers, have? candid conversations with white travelers who were in West DR, you know. And I'm telling you, it's an unexplored spot where I'm at. I'm not going to say it. I've said it before. I, I did a review on the spot, but the spot that I'm actually thinking about and talking about that I was at, that I really fucking love in DR of all places, it's just a little bit further going west. You know, almost to Haiti, but you know, I'm in this spot. These white boys here was 6466, 250. You know, I'm 5'8. So, yeah, you can talk shit to me being damn near 7 foot. I get it. But, you know, it was kind of relaxing when you look up and you see the, uh, the woman that they with, dark as me, you know, same size as them. So, I already know this hard talk is a facade. But we got into a conversation about. Pretty much the black travel about Cartagena, Sassu. Because I brought up, well, I didn't bring it up. He brought up, there's a lot of people that's, that's in Sassu, they're not going to Cartagena. And I said, hmm, all right, cool. So we started having this conversation. COVID came into play. And it pretty much is so many words to sum it up. You know, it started off with COVID. It started off, Trump started it. It was a, 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 a Chinese disease. You know what I'm saying? And then it was a UK thing. And then it was a Brazilian thing. Then it was an American thing. And then some kind of way, we just kept on kind of conversing to the point that we were like, and I think it came up as a hypothesis of what do you think will happen when all of those cats come from Cartagena to go to Sassua and all of a sudden the numbers rise? In, 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 in DR and then I started thinking about it I said damn I, I'm in chat room with cats don't do nothing but DR you don't see no you don't really see like a lot of shit uh, COVID numbers are rising until like last week COVID numbers are rising no it ain't rising like they just started rising the motherfuckers been up the motherfuckers want that money but to go and that's when I did the whole video uh, pretty much when I was talking about uh, Cartagena and all that and COVID on that last video um, something else that was said and it kind of got me to thinking but um, you know how white people or somebody non-black can say something to you and it might be offensive it might be racist but at the same time if it's 100% on spot on, you really can't have no reaction to it other than, you know, saying touche. You know, and how it got broke down to me is like, 
they done tried to make this a disease and put it on every other group. Soon lady, and pretty much in so many words what he was saying, they go try and put it on blacks. I'm not saying that's the case, but I will say it's a possibility that that DR is gonna close. But that is why I included that inside of the uh, responses on um, the last video. But, you know, you got people that saying, you know, geez, you need to delete this. You know what I'm deleting? I'm, it's a prediction. You know, not an accusation. Not a charge being given. It's a prediction. One, that due to ever since I got into this travel shit, I've been saying, okay, sooner or later, six months from now, this is going to happen. This is going to happen. This is some shit that I'm actually hoping don't happen. All right? But yeah, man. Learn fucking language and shit becomes that much easier for you. Well, that's my responses for this week. That's what I'm speaking on this week. Nevertheless, man, I appreciate y'all for coming through. You know, leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see y'all on 68. Leave a like, leave a comment, share with your traveling brother and sister, and I'll see y'all on 68. Jedi.